Now, uh, if you don't know, this is, of course, a segment where viewers try to find mistakes that we've made on our show. So far, there have been many challengers, and this is shocking, no winners. Mm. I just don't make mistakes. Yeah, we don't do it. Yeah, doesn't happen. So tonight, this is true, a fan named Yona in Finland, or Yana, thinks that he caught a mistake. He says it happened during a comedy bit I did last week with Larry King. Here's his video explanation. Hi, Conan. Yana from Finland here. You did this sketch about Larry King up in the rafters, and I was wondering about this. Larry, whose name is written on the beam over there? Right there, in the black pen, Humphrey Bogart. So I had to look it up, and this came up. Notice that there's no cross line on letter T. But however this one does. So I'm a little suspicious about it. That's all. Peace and love. What the hell was that? I don't know. What is that? What is that? I've been to Finland. That's not how they blow a kiss. They go, and then woo. <laughs> that might be a fake. Listen, it's Yona, if that's your real name. I love your people, okay? I love your country. But man, are you dead wrong, all right? He thinks he caught us making a mistake. There is Humphrey Bogart's signature up in the rafters, and I have proof that's legitimate. Take a look at this very rare and authentic archival footage. Hey, Mr. Bogart, care to sign your name? Sure thing, Phil. I'd love to. Gee, thanks. Yeah, I noticed that you crossed your T there. That's not like your normal signature. Look, Phil, give me a break. I'm writing on a f***ing beam. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Bogey. Don't mess with Bogey. So the challenge still stands, all right? Still, no one can catch us. Huh. Unbelievable. If you think you've spotted an error on our show, report it at teamcoco.com slash ha ha, I found an error. <laughs> and we will sort it out right here on the air. Let's see if you've got what it takes to make chump meat out of the maestro. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, Ken Jong 